most women have their dating game sorted out. You know, they've got their makeup tricks where a woman can go from looking like a 5 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10, an 8 out of 10, or even a 9 out of 10 by putting on some makeup. Women can show a little bit of cleavage and guys' heads are going to start turning. We're going to look and say, oh, look at those tits. They're going to get our attention. For a woman, it's as easy as looking good and most guys are going to want to have sex with her. For us men, it's as easy as making women feel attracted when we're interacting with them. We can actively make a woman feel sexually attracted and turned on by what we're saying and doing. When a guy is able to do that, he will then begin to enjoy his choice of women because most of the women that he talks to are going to feel attracted and interested in him. It's not possible for one man to attract all the women in the world and be able to pick up any woman that he sees, but for a guy who knows how to make women feel sexually attracted and turned on during a conversation, he can attract most of the women that he interacts with. So when it comes to the dating game, women know what they need to do. It's pretty simple. Look good and act friendly, and most guys are going to be interested in having sex with her and seeing where it goes. However, how does a man beat a woman at the game that she's so good at? How can a normal, everyday guy be in the position of power where he is able to have his choice of women? He's able to have most of the women that he meets be attracted to him and interested in being with him. It's very easy to beat women at their own game, but the three main mistakes that prevent men from doing it are number one, a lack of preparation, number two, building desperation, and number three, hope based on fiction. So let's begin with number one, a lack of preparation. When a woman is walking around and she's got some makeup on and she looks physically attractive, she's prepared for success, right? She's making herself look attractive to the opposite sex. However, for a guy, if he just walks up to her, feeling attracted to her, and he's being friendly towards her and trying to have a polite conversation, then he's not doing anything to make her feel sexually attracted to him. Unless a guy is a celebrity, a male model, or is super rich and powerful in society, he will usually need to actively create a spark of attraction inside of the woman to make her feel motivated to want to be with him. In most cases, a woman isn't going to simply want a guy because he looks good or he's wearing nice clothes. A woman may notice that about him, but it will rarely make her feel motivated enough to want to approach him and pick him up. Most guys don't know that women place less importance on looks than men do. It's true that women can feel attracted to a handsome guy, a rich guy, a guy with lots of status in society, but it's also true that women can feel attracted and turned on when a guy displays certain personality traits and behaviors during an interaction. For example, if a guy starts interacting with a woman and he's being nervous, doubting himself, trying to engage her in polite conversation, and he's just being friendly, nothing about that is going to turn her on. In fact, she's going to be turned off by his emotional weakness. Women are naturally attracted to the emotional strength in men, such as confidence and high self-esteem, and turned off by emotional weakness, such as insecurity and self-doubt. That guy might interact with her, get a bad reaction, and then walk away thinking that he's not good looking enough. However, if he had just talked to her and displayed personality traits that make women feel sexually attracted, he would have got a completely different reaction. For example, if he was confident, funny, charming, and charismatic, the woman would have felt attracted, she would have opened up to him, and he could then connect with her and pick her up. The majority of guys out there are unprepared for interactions that they have with women that they find attractive. For a guy, he can look at a woman and find her attractive simply based on her appearance. It doesn't matter what she says, what she does for a living, what her hobbies are, what brand of shoes she's wearing, where she got her dress, all that doesn't matter. He's feeling attracted to her physical appearance and regardless of what she says, he's attracted to her and he wants something to happen. Some guys have much higher standards than others, but the majority of guys will be interested in a woman sexually simply based on their physical appearance and if he goes and talks to her and she's being friendly towards him, he'll want something to happen. However, the pickup process works differently for women and that's why you'll see women walking through the world and men will look at her and immediately say, yep, I'd tap that, I'd marry that, or girlfriend material, marriage material, or I'd do anything to be with her, I'll buy her whatever she wants if she just gives me a chance with her. Yet women don't have the same reaction to men. It's true that you can see some women looking at very handsome men and saying, wow, look, he's handsome, he's sexy. But if that guy talks to the women and he's nervous and self-doubting and doesn't really make them feel attracted to his personality, most of those women will feel turned off by him and won't want to be with him. 
The great thing about how a woman's attraction works is that it's not purely based on looks. Some women are very picky and focus a lot on looks, but they are the minority. The majority of women place much more importance on how a guy makes her feel while he interacts with her. In other words, does his personality and behavior turn her on, make her feel happy, make her feel connected with him, make her feel excited, make her feel like she wants to be with him sexually and romantically? Or does his personality turn her off? Does he bore her? Does he make her only feel friendly or neutral feelings? The majority of guys have no idea how to actively attract a woman when they interact with her. They're completely unprepared. And that is a huge opportunity for you. When you are one of the rare guys who know how to actively make a woman feel sexually attracted while you talk to her, you have your choice of women. You can beat women at their own game. It doesn't matter if she's wearing makeup and she looks two or three points hotter than she actually is. You are making her feel intense sexual attraction and she wants to be with you. She's looking at you as being an attractive man. For the guys watching this who have ever picked up a hottie from a club who's wearing makeup and you get her back home and she jumps in the shower and then her makeup comes off, you know that women with makeup look completely different when their makeup comes off. What they do when they paint that stuff on their face tricks our instinct of attraction. We feel so much more attracted to them because of what's going on on that face. However, that's just superficial game and the majority of women know that they aren't as attractive as they make themselves up to be when they put on makeup and you know they do their hair and things like that. They're still hot, they're still attractive, but women know how they look when they roll out of bed in the morning. And because of that, a lot of women are actually insecure about their physical appearance. Some guys might enjoy to hear that women are insecure and say, yeah, you know, suck that women, you stuck up bitches, you know, you've been rejecting me all my life, you deserve to be insecure. However, a better approach to take is to actually feel sorry for women who feel insecure about their appearance because they don't need to be insecure. They are beautiful, they are attractive, but it's just this superficial stuff that goes on in modern culture where guys are expected to have six-pack abs and women are expected to have booty and fake tits and all that sort of stuff. The majority of women that you meet will be insecure about their looks in some way or another. They usually don't show that when they're interacting with guys because the woman will try to play hard to get to make the guy really work hard to pick her up. But then when she notices that he's working really hard and he's desperate and he's trying his best to impress her, she'll start to lose attraction and respect for him because he seems a little bit desperate. Based on a lot of the superficial trends that go on in modern society, both men and women feel insecure about their attractiveness. Men feel like they need to be six foot tall with muscles, six pack abs, uh, they need to have a sports car, a luxury yacht, a high flying career or business, they need to have a massive dick and a full head of hair and then they're going to be attractive to women. Women go through life and they look at advertising billboards, advertising on TV, advertising in magazines and they see these perfectly airbrushed women who look amazing and have been photoshopped. A woman then wakes up in the morning and she looks at herself in the mirror, she's got a scar on her face somewhere, she's got pimples, she's got freckles, she's got lines and wrinkles and her face isn't as perfect as the women that are supposedly the most beautiful women in the world who have been airbrushed. When women put on their makeup and make themselves look even more physically attractive, a lot of guys get intimidated because they look at the woman's physical appearance and they say, wow, she's so beautiful, she's so attractive, and look at me, I'm nothing. I'm just an average or below average looking guy. I don't have a special amazing appearance like her. Yet what these guys don't realize is that a guy can make a woman feel sexually attracted and turned on by him during an interaction. And if he's not prepared to do that when he goes and talks to women, he's most likely only gonna make women feel friendly or neutral feelings and there's gonna be no spark between them. Number two, building desperation. Most guys have no trouble attracting the interest of women that they're not actually attracted to and interested in. So an unattractive woman or a woman who's already taken and just wants to flirt with him for a bit of fun a female friend, a co-worker, etc. However, when it comes to the women that a guy really finds attractive and wants to be with, he doesn't really know what to do to make those women feel attracted to him as well. If a guy goes through many months or years of his life and isn't able to get laid or get a girlfriend with the types of women that he really wants to be with, it then starts to lead to desperation. He may then begin to think about lowering his standards. He might start to look at women who aren't that attractive and think, well, maybe that's all I can get. Maybe I need to accept that. Sometimes a guy will then get into a relationship with a woman that he's not even that attracted to 
and he'll waste two, three, four years of his life and he might even accidentally get her pregnant and then regret it and then he's got to pay child support to her for life and it's not even a woman that he wanted to be with anyway. A guy like that wants to be able to beat women at their own game and have his choice of women but he just doesn't have the ability to attract women when he interacts with them. Women can make him feel attracted. He looks at her, yep, I bang her. I tap that. She's got a nice ass, yep. Oh, she's got a nice face and nice legs, nice tits. Beautiful. I want her. But he doesn't know how to make her feel attracted to him. So if a guy wants to avoid feeling desperate and then beginning to lower his standards with women and accept a woman that he doesn't even really want to be with, he needs to make sure that he's prepared to succeed. Women are prepared to succeed with their makeup tricks and by showing a bit of cleavage or wearing a short skirt. They've got their game sorted out and under control. However, what a man needs to do is not wear makeup or wear a short skirt and try to attract women in that way. What a man needs to do is interact with a woman and display personality traits that naturally attract women. For example, confidence, charisma, charm, being funny, being socially intelligent. If a guy interacts with a woman and only shows her personality traits like niceness, politeness, academic intelligence, and generosity, then the woman isn't going to feel turned on. Women do appreciate those traits in a guy, but only after the guy triggers her feelings of sexual attraction by displaying personality traits that actually make women feel attracted and turned on. What guys need to understand is that a woman's attraction for a man is mostly based on how he makes her feel when he interacts with her. Some women do place a lot of importance on looks, and some women will only accept a rich guy. Yeah. We all know that. However, the majority of women in this world place way more importance on how a guy makes her feel when he interacts with her. If a guy doesn't know how to attract women during an interaction, he will find that most of the women that he interacts with don't feel attracted to him and are not motivated to want to be with him. If he remains single and alone for a long time, he may get to the point where he thinks that he needs to lower his standards and accept an unattractive woman. Yet, he is wrong. He does not have to accept an unattractive woman. Normal, everyday guys can naturally attract women by interacting with them and making them feel attracted during the interaction. A guy can display traits like confidence, charisma, charm, and social intelligence and naturally attract the woman. If a guy doesn't know how to do that during an interaction, he's not going to be able to beat women at their own game. Most of the women that he interacts with won't feel a spark for him and he will get rejected or placed in the friend zone. Number three, hope based on fiction. We've all seen those Hollywood movies where the guy who doesn't know how to attract women gets a beautiful woman by the end of the movie. He saves the day or he saves her from a bad, evil boyfriend or he saves the world and then he gets the hot girl in the end. We also see those romantic movies where the guy's just friends with a woman and she eventually starts to like him and then they get into a relationship and they fall in love and they live happily ever after. If a guy sees enough of that on TV and in movies, he may begin to hope for his own type of magical success. Maybe one day I'll meet the right girl. She'll be beautiful, she'll be intelligent, she'll be down to earth and she'll love me for who I am. She'll love me because I'm intelligent. She'll love me because I have good intentions with her and everything will just work out so beautifully and easily. Here's the thing though, people who are successful in this life don't hope for success and then sit around doing nothing. The most successful people in this world either naturally understand the right things to do or they learn the right things to do and then do those things so they can get the result that they want. For example, guys who can effortlessly pick up women wherever they go, they know how to start a conversation. They know how to keep the conversation going. They know how to make women feel instantly attracted when they start talking to them. They know how to make her feel more sexually attracted and turned on as the interaction continues. They know how to move in for a kiss. They know how to get her home for sex or get her phone number. They know what to do. And they just do the right thing and then get the results. However, guys who struggle to get laid or get a girlfriend, they don't really know what to do. Some guys know how to start a conversation, but they don't really know what to say after asking boring questions like, what do you do for a living? What's your name? Where are you from? What shoes are you wearing? Where'd you get that dress? Oh, your hair is nice. Uh, where did you get that done? They don't really know what to say past that. The guy's simply hoping that the woman's going to feel attracted to him because he's a nice, friendly guy. But what he doesn't understand is that being nice and friendly to a woman isn't the thing that makes a woman feel sexually attracted and turned on. Women do want a good guy, but they only really care if a guy is a good guy after 
he makes her feel sexually attracted. If a guy is just being a friendly, good guy and isn't creating any type of sexual spark between him and the woman, then she's just going to look at him as yet another guy who wants to bang her. You know, he's one of the thousands, millions, hundreds of millions of guys who would happily stick it in her. She doesn't feel any spark for him, but he feels it for her because our attraction to women is initially based on their physical appearance. We can feel more attracted to a woman as we interact with her and get to know her personality and we like certain things about her. Maybe she's cute and giggly and funny and intelligent and interesting and down to earth, etc. However, what attracts us to women initially is their physical appearance and for most guys, a woman's physical appearance is enough for the guy to want to have sex with her and start a relationship. However, for a woman, it's not enough for a guy to just look good. This is why if you go out to a bar or a nightclub, you'll see guys standing around and they've done their best to build up their muscles in the gym, they're wearing great clothes, they've done their hair, they've got expensive shoes on, and they're standing around trying to look good and hoping that they're going to get some results with women. Women may look at those guys and say, hey, look at that guy, he's handsome. Oh, that guy looks sexy. That guy's tall. That guy's got nice muscles. But the women will rarely, if ever, walk over and try to pick the guy up. If a woman does that, she's usually very drunk or she's unattractive or she's just showing off to her friends for a bit of fun. For the most part though, women will stand around and they'll look good and they'll wait for a guy to walk over and make them feel attracted. Create a spark. Either at the very start of the conversation or within the first 10 to 30 seconds, the women will be looking to see if there's a spark. If there is a spark, their eyes light up, they open up, they become interested in the conversation and then the guy just needs to build on their feelings of sexual attraction and he can then have his choice of those women or focus on one or two of them or just one of them and pick them up. So let me ask you a question. If you went out tomorrow and you saw a beautiful woman, would you know what to say and do to get her to feel attracted to you if you approached her? Or are you just going to walk over and have a friendly conversation with her that doesn't create any spark? If you don't know how to make her feel a spark, don't worry. The majority of guys don't know how to do that, and that is a huge opportunity for you. The majority of guys who approach and talk to a woman don't actually make her feel a spark. They just make her feel friendly emotions or neutral emotions, or the guy uses a drunken approach or a sleazy approach and doesn't get anywhere. Women are sick and tired of experiencing that over and over and over again. When you are one of the rare guys who can walk up to an attractive, beautiful woman and actively make her feel sexually attracted while you're talking to her, you stand out from other guys. She is excited to be talking to you. She is amazed that a guy has had the confidence to walk up to her, be a normal guy, right? Not put on an act of being a super nice guy or try to pick her up with a sleazy approach. You're just being a normal, confident guy and you're making her feel sexually attracted. She feels a spark with you. She feels excited to be talking to you. That is a rare experience for a beautiful woman. Most guys that she meets are intimidated by her and they'll try to suck up to her by putting on a nice guy act where they act nicer than they actually are or want to be or they'll try a sleazy approach on her or they'll try to go straight for the kill and they'll say, oh, so do you have a boyfriend? Uh, can I get your number? Can I take you out sometime? Even though she's not feeling a spark for them. The guy's feeling attracted to her because of her physical appearance but she's not feeling anything for him. He's not actively making her feel a spark. She doesn't care about looks as much as he thinks she does. It is true that some women do care about looks, but the majority of women place much less importance on a guy's looks. And they're more interested in how a guy's personality and behavior makes them feel. This is why as you walk through the world, you will see guys with beautiful women that you might think don't deserve that woman. You might think that the guy is out of shape. How can he have a woman like that? The guy is from a certain race. How can he have a woman like that? Why is that woman with him? That doesn't seem to make sense. That guy looks like a bit of a nerd. Why is she with him? That guy has big ears. Why is she with him? That guy has a funny looking nose. Why is she with him? That guy is overweight. Why is she with him? The reason why she is with him is that it is possible to make a woman feel sexually attracted to you while you talk to her. Some women are very picky about looks and they'll only accept a handsome guy. Some women will only accept a super rich guy. Some women will only accept a celebrity or a guy who's super powerful in society, but the majority of women aren't that picky. The majority of women are way easier to pick up than they make themselves out to be. If you ask a woman what she wants in a guy, she'll start listing off things like, oh, he's got to be tall and handsome and rich and have a big dick and have six-pack abs, have a full head of hair, wear great shoes, have a luxury car, have a luxury yacht, and she'll go on and on about all these superficial traits. 
However, if a confident guy walks up and he's just normal looking, he's average to below average looking, and he's able to make her feel sexually attracted by being confident, funny, charismatic, and charming, she's going to feel attracted to him. And if she's like most women, all of her fake standards and all these superficial things that she's been saying go right out the window and she doesn't care. She falls in love with that guy. She says, oh, I didn't really like the way he looked when I first met him, but then there was a spark between us and I really liked him, and now we're in a relationship and we're going to get married. Or, well, I didn't really like the way he looked at the start, but when I started to talk to him, I actually found him kind of handsome. I actually like the way that he's got a belly. I actually like the fact that he's bald. It's sexy. The reason why women do that is because their attraction is not based on looks as much as our attraction to women is based on looks. For us men, our instinct of attraction is urging us to find a physically good-looking woman who is healthy. Right? That's where we want to plant our seed. But women don't necessarily need to be looking for a physically good-looking man who is healthy. What they need is a man who's going to be able to protect her, he's going to be able to survive, he's going to be able to thrive, and he's going to be able to provide for any offspring that they may have. Even if a woman doesn't want any kids and she's not thinking about kids, her instinct of attraction is telling her to find a guy who's going to make her feel safe in this world, a guy that's going to be able to protect her and maybe able to provide for her if they have any offspring. A woman's attraction for you happens automatically as you display personality traits and behaviors that women find naturally attractive. If you don't know what to say or do during a conversation to display personality traits and behaviors that make women feel sexually attracted to you, I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow or listen to the brand new audio version, The Flow on Audio. You'll learn exactly what to say and do to make women feel attracted and interested in you immediately. When you begin to talk to a woman, she will feel a spark with you. You will stand out from other guys. You won't have to try hard to suck up to her and try to get to know her and hope that you're going to grow on her. She's going to feel sexually attracted to you as you begin talking to her. And the more that you talk to her, the more attracted she feels. All you need to do then is guide her through the simple steps of the flow and you'll be kissing her, having sex with her and enjoying a relationship with her. So if you want to beat women at their own game, don't try to win based on your looks. Women can feel attracted to a guy's looks, but most women don't feel motivated enough to want to approach and pick up a guy simply based on how he looks. This is why you'll often see good looking guys with unattractive girlfriends or good looking guys remaining single and alone for years. The easiest way to get laid or get a girlfriend is to attract women during a conversation by displaying personality traits that naturally attract women. For example, confidence, charisma, and charm. Guys all over the world do it every day when they meet beautiful women, and you can do it too. Attracting and picking up women is easy when you make them feel attracted to you during an interaction. However, if you try to compete with women based on looks, you'll most likely find it difficult to feel worthy enough because women are usually very skilled at improving their physical appearance with makeup and by wearing revealing clothing. If you want to beat women at their own game, just focus on attracting them during a conversation and you will see that the majority of women are way easier to pick up than they make themselves out to be.